scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. Matthew chapter 7. We read from verse 9. From verse 9 to 11 is projected. Can we read together? One to read. Or what man is there of you, uh -huh, whom if his son asks bread, will give him a stone? Next verse. Or if he asks a fish, will give him a serpent? It's a question. Hold on, hold on. Jesus is talking with the people. And this question is an attempt or was an attempt to correct something. Jesus, remember... We have taught again and again that he came as the revelation of the father it's important for you to know this until jesus manifested there were gaps in the understanding of god they didn't know whether god was responsible for certain things that happened or otherwise so they would attribute things that were of the devil anything that was superstitious or supernatural they believed that it came from god are we together now and so jesus is attempting to establish the benevolence of the father jesus is attempting to correct the notion listen carefully that the father's proposition of his love for his creation were a lie and jesus will use an expression that is very serious he used things that had to do with food are we together now he said which of you please give us go back to verse 9 or what man is there of you whom if his son asks for bread will give him what a stone number two next verse or if he asks a fish will give him a serpent next verse if ye then being evil being evil that means there is a level of kindness even an evil nature cannot take out of a man are we together like you see a wicked person and a car capsizes in an accident and they all run together they are evil but there is still an element of kindness so jesus is saying although you are evil you still have the fortitude to be responsible to be kind and to be benevolent he says, if you being evil, know how to give what? Good gifts. So bread is a good gift. Fish is a good gift. Your supplies, your needs met is a good gift. Are we together now? He says, if you know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more shall your father which is in heaven give good things to them that ask him this is a statement this is a point jesus is trying to prove because until then the people had received a philosophy that god was selective number one number two that god did not have the fortitude to be so lavish in his display of love and jesus comes as the expression of god and he says no let me correct that although you are evil i don't see your children begging for bread are we together now 
that they will not ask you for bread and you give them a stone they will not ask you for fish and you give them a serpent a stone and a serpent can do the same thing they can kill you are we together now a stone can hurt you a stone can kill you a serpent can beguile you a serpent can strike you and he says am i am i i am i am not a man yet it is in men even the fallen nature could not erode that fortitude in men to show kindness the leader of boko haram has a family and we've never seen the wife pasting something on the internet and say don't mind this stupid man i am hungry as terrorists and wicked as they are they know how to take care of their families if you being evil know how to give good gifts to your children how much more listen very carefully your father in heaven will give good things to them that ask him is it not in your bible that says he that paraphrasing now that he that fails to supply one version says to his household has denied the faith are we together and the bible says is worse than an infidel meaning that part of the responsibility of fatherhood is to ensure that your family members become a reflection of your benevolence it's not enough to say you are kind and benevolent your family members and those under your watch must testify of your kindness are we together if i run a bakery for instance and i have children and you see the children loitering around a shop hoping for a little slice of bread that is not just an indictment on the children it is it is safe to use the children to assume that i'm a greedy and a stingy father because i cannot run a bakery my children should be tired of eating bread not to stand in front of a shop hoping to get a slice of it our inability to justify god's kindness is a concern to him and this is one of the things that the lord wants to correct tonight the father is not withholding good things listen very carefully it is difficult to receive from god when you are in doubt whether or not it is within his power and it is consistent with his will to bless you i will continue to drum it again and again that the primary purpose for our loving and seeking god is not things our relationship with God is higher and greater than things are we together however it is also true that our father is glorified when we bear much fruit the beauty listen carefully when any mentor trains a student or trains a protege it is in the ability of that protege to reproduce the result of the mentor that's his joy he says herein is our father glorified john 15 and verse 8 when ye bear much fruit he says so then shall ye be my disciples there is a level of results that we must command as believers listen carefully and for as long as we fail to demonstrate these realities we will keep misinterpreting God and it will be safe for our loved ones and our territories to build all kinds of thoughts and philosophies about God so he puts together a convergence like this to correct notions that who told you I have stopped lifting men come for the miracle service who told you I have stopped wiping tears are we together now pain has a voice and sometimes the voice of pain and the voice of of the frustration that comes as a result of lack of 
notable results in our lives and our Christian experience, the voice can be so loud, listen, it will numb the voice of the Holy Spirit to the point that if they are telling you God can do this and that, you just look. Have you seen people who have been so frustrated? Every time you are telling them God can do something, they just look at you. And when you're done, they say, are you done? Please walk out of this place. Then they start telling you from year this to year that. I serve God. From year this to year that, I gave my all. I, the first missionary that came to this state used my car. And look what I have. And God says, that is a misunderstanding of who I am. I will not want you to misunderstand me as a person. We continue to strive to correct any wrong image of the ministry that is being created. For instance, those who try to manipulate money from people in the name of the ministry, as most ministries would have, you know, people will parade in the internet as Joshua Selman, for instance. Every time I hear of such kinds of things, I don't keep quiet and say, God, do whatever you do. No, I... I I make efforts to see that whatever security provisions need to be in place is in place. This is me, a man, an ordinary man. Do you think God's jealousy will allow him to let creation keep writing things about him that is not correct? If we do not allow the power of God to correct these wrong understandings, our children will come with an understanding of God that is inaccurate. Have you noticed that the average, I think it starts from teenagers. Our teenagers now almost have no regard for God. Because something about their experience has proven that God is not faithful. If you being evil, know how to give good gifts. We have our little children in this ministry and we love them so, so much. As soon as we share the grace, you see them jumping on me and jumping on everybody. And they don't look and say, Apostle, um, am I littering your cloth? Am I? They just jump and they are happy. They can, they can feel free knowing you are too responsible. Listen, it's an understanding. Sometimes they come and they just fly expecting to be held. They are not, they are not, they don't ask you whether you are tired. They don't ask you whether your hand is paining you. They just jump and hope you hold them. And although in our human nature, we still have, imagine how irresponsible a man will be for a lovely child to just jump and then he looks at him and he falls and he says, good for you. You will know that I don't play with children. No. No. I'm helping us to understand before I begin to minister that it is God's desire. Please listen. It is God's desire to see you lift up your prayer request and watch every single one of them answered. It does not take you to hell and it does not reduce your Christian life. Are we together now? Away with that thinking. That when God answers our prayers, it will make us leave him. No, it is when there is already a heart that is not truly inclined to God. You don't need to have results to leave God. When your heart is not positioned on God and your love for him is in doubt, anything can take you away from him. But let me tell you this, my brothers and my sisters. When you love the Lord with all your heart and your heart is pegged at seeing that his kingdom come, there is nothing he will withhold from you. You've heard my story. I've shared with you that the Lord told me, son, if you will let men see me, there is nothing I will not give you. It is his will for you to have the supernatural results that you seek. And it's important that we give God room to do these things in the lives of people. If you're a preacher, please listen. It is good to teach people the word. It is good to help people grow. It is good to provide a platform for spiritual enlightenment. But sometimes people don't need knowledge. They need real results. There are times that, listen carefully. There are times that you don't go to meet a patient in an ICU. 
and tell the person while you are almost dying take note of the following number one next time don't stay around mosquitoes number two and the patient is gasping for breath there are situations that don't need counseling there are situations that don't need advice there are situations that need a head-on collision with the power and the grace of god there are people sitting right now looking at me smiling but with death sentences in the name of medical verdicts that's not the time to start giving people any any advice you give people love the lord in 10 years make sure you are consistent the person says i'm dying right as i'm dying right now take me out of that situation and then i can give you my attention to mentor me and build me hallelujah i believe in miracles i really believe in miracles i believe in the manifestation of the power of god i believe that the power of god can be made visible here and now i believe that god anoints us to provide supernatural solutions you are here because of the things you have heard god do you are here because of the lives you saw him change and let me tell you your case will not be different tonight in the name of jesus christ but i just want to encourage you so that you don't come hoping will god bless me will god lift me is he interested in the joy that my family will have when results come is he interested in the new level of anointing i will receive as a man of god is he concerned that my church is going down is he concerned that everyone i laid hands on was not healed is he concerned that i am going down spiritually the God we serve is a lifter. He does not bring people down who love him and stay true to him. So it's important for you to be ready to wave goodbye to all of the challenges that you made so much sacrifice to come here to present to God. Don't sit down and hope that, oh God, um, well, let's see what you will do. No, no. Remember, remember, I have taught you, for those of you coming for the first time, listen. The very factor that is responsible for results in the kingdom is the anointing his divine power your faith only connects you to the anointing it is not your faith as it were that brings you results your faith is like a host that connects the tap to the plant that needs refreshing but it's the power of god and let me tell you sincerely where the power of god is lavishly allowed to find expression then darkness must flee. Then lives must change. Then situations must be transformed. Are we together now? Expect the hand of God. Do you know, it's amazing how that you will see people gathered like this. And you will think just because they are looking at a preacher, they are expectant. Many people are used to God not working in their lives. To the point that they don't expect anything. They may look and say amen and hope that they will get something. There is a level of hunger and desperation like jacob where you tell the lord i did not leave the east the south the west i didn't travel out of this nation to come into nigeria come into zaria just to watch people get healed get blessed and share the grace and go back no there is a level of insistence insistence give us hebrews chapter 11 please and verse 6 just a charge and then we'll minister tonight but without faith, the Bible says, it is impossible to please him. The him there is God. For he that cometh to God, this is a rule. This is a spiritual law. That he that comes to God must believe that he exists. And then number two, that he is the rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Do you not know that transporting yourself from the great distance you came from, is proof of diligence is proof that you trust god you held that report you held that cancer report you held that this and that report and you continue to believe god our assignment is continue to align in prayer and true sacrifice to say lord continue to multiply your anointing so that the issue that could not be solved in january can be solved in march I've taught you how the anointing works. And let me just teach it very quickly for the sake of those of us who may be encountering this ministry for the first time. I taught you that the anointing works like money. Listen very carefully. That 
you only can solve spiritual problems or problems that are within the level of the grace you carry the same way you can have 10,000 naira 10,000 naira can buy you a few things it cannot buy you a car it cannot buy you a house but it is still money if you need to buy a house you need more of the same thing to the amount that can purchase the house every challenge in the realm of the spirit has a level of grace and anointing that can solve it just because you are anointed does not mean all problems will bow I gave an example yesterday while I was teaching in Abia and I told them that you can bring someone for instance in a wheelchair and keep the person outside and a man of God can even lay hands on the person and the person may not be healed he will go back sick are we together now you take the same person and keep that person in Benny Hinn's overflow not the main bowl overflow and right there he comes and whilst he's singing the person gets up the difference is not God the difference is the extent of the anointing how God anointed Jesus not that Jesus was anointed the information is not that he was anointed look at the extent to which he was anointed you are a blessing when you stay with God to be anointed to the degree to which most problems that come are under the level of your grace people have come to me and with all humility as soon as they begin to talk I discern what their challenges are and I know that this problem is far far below the level of the grace that I have sometimes I would not even pray I would say go it's done so the, the man of God's assignment is that while you are building your expectation while you are paying so much to transport yourself to be here while you are fasting and opening your heart our own assignment is to stay with god to say i've seen your grace before but evil is multiplying there are situations that know there are superior levels of graces that can solve it when someone loses 10 million naira and comes to you and says I'm about to die I don't know whether I'm alive or not but the last time they told me I was dying help me at that point that's not the time to start teaching him and say okay be patient this is you can teach him financial principles but he needs that raven that fed Elijah to come to him quick let the raven feed him first when someone tells you my life it's not moving forward all doors are closed and because of that my father is about to leave my mother they have concluded that the divorce will happen in the month of May that's not the time to settle down and start saying oh this and that line upon line precept they are, they are, a, a family is about to be torn apart oh how we need the power of God in this generation we need the power of God more than falling down we need the power of God more than the jargons and the stories that we talk. Let me tell you, in the final analysis, it is his divine power that is the giver. And if that power is not resident within you to the degree that it takes to provide supernatural solutions, then you will continue to see people frustrated. If you're a man of God and you came here, listen to me. You are not a blessing when you are not anointed. Let me repeat myself. You are not a blessing when you are not anointed. You may be a good person. You may be a sincere person. It takes more than sincerity to be a blessing. The Messianic prophecy, Isaiah chapter 61. Please give it to us. Isaiah chapter 61. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me and then he says because the lord hath anointed me the lord had done what please talk to me koinonia the lord had anointed me so the factor there is the anointing and then it begins to list all the possibilities that can now happen on account of the anointing it takes the anointing to preach glad tidings to the meek it takes the anointing to bind up the brokenhearted. It takes the anointing to proclaim liberty. It doesn't take a mouth to proclaim liberty. It takes the anointing. You can have the mouth and say be free. But it takes the anointing to proclaim liberty to the captives. It takes the anointing 
to open up prison doors. Next verse. It takes the anointing to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord. And then the year of vengeance of our God. Look up please. It takes the anointing to comfort all those who mourn. Verse 3. To appoint to them that mourn in Zion. So even in Zion there are those who mourn. It didn't say to appoint to them that mourn outside Zion. They are in Zion. Yet they are mourning. To give them beauty. Look at what the anointing can do. Hi. The anointing, please listen, listen. Families, listen. The anointing can give a man beauty. 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 For ashes. Many families know what ashes looks like. When a family has 10 people and no one is employed, when a family has 10 people and the highest earner in that family earns 2,000 per month, ashes. But the Bible says by the anointing you can give men beauty. Beauty. You came for koinonia with ashes and God says keep your ashes here. Take beauty. As you are sharing the grace, you are walking out with it. And then you continue to see your life. You know you have carried beauty by the results that follow. It says, until the spirit be poured upon us from on high. Then it says, the wilderness shall be counted for a fruitful vine. And then the fruitful vine counted for a forest. Beauty for ashes. The oil of joy for mourning. The garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. And then it says that they might be called the trees or oaks of righteousness. The planting of the Lord that he might be glorified. God is still beautifying the lives of people. My brothers and my sisters, don't get used to your situation. I know you've trusted God in spite of it. But God wants you to now continue trusting him without it. It's, it's honorable and it is noble to trust God in spite of it. But what if he takes the pain away? What if he takes the situation away? What if he takes the predicament away? It takes a wicked man of God to watch what is going on in this country. And to watch what is going on in the times that we live in. And act as if nothing is happening to people. There are real problems. Poverty is a real problem. Young people now have high blood pressure because after spending 10 years for a four-year course and graduating with a 2-1, you are roaming around the street like an armed robber with your certificate that seems to have no value. Look at the, you know, we, we've, we've been talking about, I don't know if it's happening only in Zaria. But we've been talking about the increased rate of suicide, especially among young people. When you sit down and try everything and it does not work, you just tell yourself, I'm better off dead. And you at least, my money cannot rent a house, but it can buy a rope. What can it buy? A rope. And the spirit of death will help you to buy a rope. And you find a tree and hang yourself. And you who should have been a blessing to a family has now died. And then people come to church with that kind of pain. And the man of God says, don't worry. It's not all about your needs. It's about Jesus. I agree. It's about Jesus. But man was not designed to bend that law indefinitely. There has to be an opportunity given. When the spirit of the Lord will step into the lives of people. I will never, never watch people go through things that the power of God can change. And act as if nothing can be done about it. No sir. Whoever told you that the power of God cannot do anything about the demons that oppress families. Whoever told you that the yokes of darkness can remain unhindered. I know you have prayed. I know you have fasted. But I've told you why it did not happen. It takes a level of grace.
Whoever told you favor has stopped working. Don't generalize pain. There are men who have found Goshen, a place of safety. There are men who have found Bethel. There are men whose lives are like Beulah and Hephzibah. The planting of the Lord. When God plants a garden, will it not grow? He says the planting of the Lord that he might be glorified. This is the place of encounter. I want you to know that this is a place where God increases your convictions. This is the place of surrender. Do to me what you want. This is the place where your life will change do to me what you want listen when the lord turn again the captivity of your family when the lord turn again the captivity of your destiny it says we were like them that dream how beautiful is it to see the other side of pain how beautiful is it to see the other side of a man's trusting God? How beautiful it is to see a man trusting God for grace. Lord, I know you still anoint men, but where is the anointing? When you see the other side of that man. How beautiful it is to see a wilderness turn into a fruitful vine and turn into a forest. I believe in miracles. I believe in the hand of God. I believe the supernatural can invade the world of men and correct and adjust things. I believe in 24 hours God can change a man's life. Listen, I believe in the law of process, but I believe in speed too. I believe God still lifts men. I believe God still uses men to make statements in a territory. Can anything good come out of Nazareth? And God says, come, let me use you. Let me show men that I am still God, the lifter of men. I believe this. I believe that God is a healer. I believe he's a deliverer. I believe when men lose things, they can get it back. Yes, sir. Including time. Including time. I believe that when men lose things, they can get it back. I believe God can anoint ordinary men. Men who are just available. But the level of grace is not there. But I know there is a place a man can come to where you encounter the power of God. Everywhere is not the same. No. No. God is everywhere, but he does not manifest his power everywhere. I believe in the power of God. I was sent not only to reveal his face, but to reveal his power. To let men know that he's still alive. To correct misunderstandings about God. Please listen to me. I want to charge your faith before we pray. I believe that challenges can end. I believe that problems can end. Did you hear what I said? I believe a man can sit down and search left and right and only see the goodness of God. I believe it. I believe it. I believe prosperity is real. I don't believe prosperity destroys a Christian. I believe in the blessing of the Lord. I believe in what it can do to your family. I believe in what it can do to your children. I believe in what it can do to your health. I know poverty causes sickness. I know it causes worry. Nobody will preach into embracing nonsense. No. I believe a man can prosper even as his soul prospers. I believe in speed. I believe God can compress what should happen in five years 
in one month. I truly believe it. I truly believe it. I believe God can restore time. When a woman has been barren for seven years, if she gives birth to one baby, we thank God, but it's not a statement enough. When she gives birth to triplets, God took nine years of space in three, three years and compressed it in one year. Now, that's victory over time. The hardiness of the hearts of men will require some dimensions of results to break their pride to honor God. Please listen, let me tell you. We are not going to use stories and noise to get people to Jesus. Wealth is a weapon. The anointing is a weapon. Favor is a weapon. Mercy is a weapon. Wisdom is a weapon. What are you fighting with? Desire, you will not win. It takes you being equipped with the spiritual arsenals that have been made for the victory of the saints in light. The planting of the Lord that he might be glorified. I believe a man can weary the devil to a point where he will let you go. I believe you can live in a territory and create your own climate financially, spiritually. I believe it. Listen, out of everything I'm saying, throw away the ones you don't believe and open your heart to the ones you believe. I believe a believer can serve God better in an atmosphere of comfort. When your children's school fees are paid, you will serve God better. Don't let religion come with the pride of men and pretend that it does not matter. Yes, I know that none of these things should affect our love for God. But let me tell you the truth. There is a level of pain you continue to have that can harden your heart towards God. It takes time to know God. It takes time to serve God. And that's the time the devil does not want to give you. You will never have time to serve God when you are moving around chasing money. You will never have time to serve God when you are moving around lobbying a way to, to be lifted. Vain is the help of man. People of God, please hear me. God did not gather us tonight to waste our time. He gathered us tonight to make real the things in our lives that pertain unto life and godliness. Can I tell you this? Whether you believe in what I said or not, it does not change the truth. The truth was buried. It took only three days. It came out. So whether you believe in the truthfulness of what is said or not, you embrace poverty and see what it does to your life and your family. Embrace mediocrity and see what it does. Embrace sickness and see how much you will spend per week. Your entire resources, when you are finally broke, then the person will die. Is that sickness? Why will it ten, take 10 years to build one house? Is that a testimony? A prostitute will sleep with a man overnight and wake up by the next day with estates and houses and everything. Let's be careful the things we say about God because many of them are not true. Please hear me, especially for our precious visitors. Don't magnify your challenges and come hoping God will change your life. We are talking God here, not a doctor, not a consultant, not an architect, not a monarch, the God of the universe. You may not be sick in your body, but who told you he cannot change your life? Do you not know he's called the father of spirits? That God can speak to a man while you are here and compel him to bless you. That God can give you a dimension of grace that you didn't enter this building with. And you turn back 
and on Sunday you climb your pulpit as usual and suddenly fire a new dimension of grace do you believe in what I'm sharing if you been evil know how to give good gifts let me tell you you can hold on to the hands of God and say it was never about your hands it was about your heart but tonight I need your hands too in addition to your heart step in over my life step in please don't give up on God wake up don't give up on God don't come here hoping I've waited waited the God of heaven can compress time if you don't believe all this there's no point being here tonight because we are going to pray and you must insist that tonight is not the night when I will clap for anybody I came to mean business with my destiny listen when we begin to pray I like you to insist that anything that does not bring glory to God in your life must leave this night no matter what it is some of you may need to rewrite your prayer request again because of your pain you've stopped writing some things you just concluded that God this one just just leave this issue no when it was time to resurrect Lazarus he said roll away the stone roll away the stone prove that you believe in resurrection by rolling away the stone two things men did they rolled away the stone and they lose the man what if they lose Lazarus and they found out he was not alive or he just fell and collapsed? Your destiny must open up tonight. It's not a blessing for people to doubt. The Bible says to be diligent in these things, to prove your calling and election, to make it sure. There are things that must be in your life to validate your call and your election. If you're a man of God here, trust God for grace, for God's sake. Just go and stand before people and just open a scripture and speak and close it and say, let's pray. No. That's what the scribes did all the time. But Jesus came and opened and read the messianic prophecy. And he said, today, this scripture is fulfilled in your eyes. They thought they would share the grace. He closed it and he told the guy with the withered hand. He said, stretch your hands. These things I write to you, O excellent Theophilus, of all that Jesus began to do and teach. Not teach alone. Do and teach. Can we pray? Please find a serious neighbor. And I like you to pray from the depth of your heart. The gift is only given to them that ask. God cannot assume you desire it. Please lift your voice in one minute and cry to the God of heaven. Outside, pray. Those following online, pray. Lord, visit me. Lord, visit me. Appear to me by your word as it were in Shiloh. Pray over your ministry. Pray over your business. Pray over your career. Pray over your destiny. Lord, I came that the gates be open tonight. Pray. Pray. That devil must leave my destiny today. That wilderness must be turned to a fruitful vine. That wilderness must be turned to a fruitful vine. 
pray pray don't look around that wilderness must be turned to a fruitful vine place something upon my life oh god place something upon my destiny upon my business upon my church Hallelujah. Hallelujah. One more prayer point, and the Lord will set this place on fire. Genesis chapter 21. Genesis chapter 21. Genesis chapter 21. Read with me, please, if you are a believer. One, two, read. And the Lord visited Sarah as he had said. And the Lord did unto Sarah as he has spoken. Lord, do to me as you have spoken. You said many things about my life. Do it. I've heard you, but I need to see it. I've heard you, but I need to see it. Do to me as you have spoken. You said I am the head and not the tail. Do to me. You said with favor shall you encompass me as a shield. Do to me. Hela paratos kabariata. You said you will restore the years the canker worm has eaten. Do to me, O oh God. Pray. Do to me, O oh God. Visit my family. You said you will wipe away every tears. You call 2019 my year of extraordinary fruitfulness. Do to me as you have spoken. Do to me, oh God. You said I will have my child in 2019. Do to me as you have spoken. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah.
Hallelujah. Please look up. Please look up. I want you to receive every grace that the Lord is going to be releasing in this place. Because you see, let me tell you, every grace supplied to you is the strength to survive the squallow of every season. And if you do not obtain the requisite level of grace for any season, you will find out that your life will remain barren and unfruitful. Truly, I came, I came with all my heart tonight. I, I don't want it to be a miracle service that we just play around casually. Please believe for something to come upon your life. Believe for a grace to come on your life. See, this thing about anoint, if it's not there, it's not there. Period. Very simple. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I want to pray. I will stand tonight praying on the grace for speed. Hold on, hold on. Please listen. There is a reason why I continue to say this. Many destinies are too slow to glorify God. Are we together now? When the devil cannot keep you at a standstill, then your progress will be so slow. It is say I must walk the works of him while it is day. That means I need to gain time. It says, for the night cometh when no man will walk again. Let me tell you, my brothers and sisters, there is a real grace for speed. If you have not seen it, it's because it's not on your life. There is a real grace for speed that vetoes the sentiments of men. So I want to pray. I want to start from there. And then we just allow the Lord to take us. Be conscious of what comes upon you. Be conscious of what comes upon you. That's how God answers prayers. He answers prayers by putting something on your life that will compel creation to begin to act in a way and a manner that will change your life. Are we together? Please lift your hands and let me pray. I believe in the grace for speed. I have seen a measure of that grace and I know it is true that God can shift a man. I'm going to pray and release this grace and inside and outside that anointing and the anointing works. Let me just tell you the anointing works. You will see people begin to run. It's, it's not anything superstitious. It is just the character and the operation of that anointing. We need it. The Lord put it in my heart. We need it for our businesses, ministries, and so on and so forth. Father, in the name of Jesus, I decree and declare. Right now, inside and outside, I stand by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. And I declare right now, at the count of three, let this grace for speed that you have provided even for this season let it rest on people now i release that grace take that grace now please bring them out take that grace now inside outside everywhere i activate the operation of this grace i shift your life in the name of jesus to strange dimensions in the spirit receive the grace for speed receive the grace for kabakatalika parousia receive that grace for speed in the name of Jesus and the hand of the Lord came upon Elijah and he ran on barefoot and overtook the chariots of Ahab to Israel I command speed 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 bring them out speed help that woman please my God I'm still praying in the name of Jesus 
It says, ye have encompassed this mountain for too long. Turn ye not what? I prophesy again. Like, like, like fire from heaven. Let that grace for speed mantle a family now. Not just an individual. Let it come upon families. Families receive speed. I shift you. I shift you in the spirit. New level. Speed. Speed. Bring them out. Speed. You will never be the same. Never be the same. I'm not praying for individuals now. I'm praying for families. Any family stagnated here. I stand by the power of the Holy Ghost and I prophesy speed inside and outside. I release speed right now. Now the Lord is that spirit, he says. And where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. The Lord is opening my eyes and I'm seeing chains on people's legs. Chains. And the Lord is saying, the Lord is bringing deliverance now. I'm seeing chains. If you are under this category as I'm praying now, the fire of God, I'm seeing fire moving, but not on people's heads, on people's feet. I decree and declare. Is it not written that where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty? At the count of three, anyone whose destiny has been pegged by these chains, I declare be free now. Be free now. Let the power of God come upon you. Be free now. By the anointing of the Holy Ghost, be free now. I want to pray God I'm telling you I'm seeing this is I'm still seeing it chains you see let me tell you this look up look up the Bible tells us that there are many things that should happen where the Spirit of the Lord is one of it is Liberty do you know what Liberty is It's a separation between you and the obstacle that mocks God in your life there is such a thing in the dealings of God with men has given men liberty I want to pray there will be a mighty deliverance right now many of you this is what has plagued your life if it is true that victory was wrought on the cross then it's time to establish it now please listen to me just follow with the instructions be childlike in your heart and let God give you a testimony are we together now He said, while men slept, the enemy came and sowed tears, sowed weed among the, I mean, among the, 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 the wheat. And he, we are going to destroy everything. For this purpose was the Son of God made manifest. I'm going to pray and at the count of three, I will ask you to shout that name. My God. I don't know what kind of bondage I'm seeing this night but except God is not God you must be free right now in the name that is above all names I pray for individuals and families alike it is true that there are yokes and ordinances of darkness that have held men bound but in the name of Jesus everywhere here overflow one two three outside as you shout that name that is above all names i decree and declare that everything that is not the planting of god in your life and family must jump out of your destiny at the count of three one two three shout jesus i command forces and go go now go now Release destiny. Release destiny. Elabarakatos pekeretos. Heliabratos kepereketos. 
every ordinance that is not the planting of God let it go now let it go now I'm speaking by what I'm seeing in the spirit let it go now I'm seeing a vision of a man with a handkerchief wiping the tears of a woman and I know that this is, is symbolic because the woman stands for the bride, the church and I'm seeing the Bible says he will wipe away every tear I don't know what family and what person came here crying but the Bible says to comfort they that mourn I declare by the power of the Holy Spirit let an anointing come upon your life now that terminates everything that brings tears that terminates everything that brings tears bring them out hallelujah young lady please shift this one you lift your hands shout Jesus as loud as you can oh yeah yeah oh yeah yeah oh yeah yeah oh yeah yeah Yahweh, eh. Oh yeah, yeah, say. Oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah, Yahweh, Yahweh, Oh yeah, yeah, say. friend lift your hands this yes you the Lord is granting you the spirit of revelation I saw something come upon your eyes and the Lord is saying he's taking you to dimensions of revelation let her go now now release her family now in the name of Jesus please listen I, I know that we don't have time but please I want you to every time the Lord shows me this then I know that he wants me to move around I begin to see lights a similitude of angels by my left and right and is is a very is a very mysterious way that God moves to touch people when this begins to happen all I need to do is you don't have to touch me just move around your role listen to me except God is not God as he has anointed as I pass your role if there is anything that is not of God it must let you go are we together now so please you pray the moment we do that then we we'll begin to minister to the sick these things are signs and wonders they are supernatural they are supernatural even by the Spirit thank you Jesus please I just want you to believe by faith just believe by faith and then as I pass the Lord is going to touch you it will be the end of it's not something you can do anything about you are under the influence of the anointing are we together now thank you Jesus that everything that is not of God must give way in the name of Jesus Christ I decree and declare right now by the power of the Holy Spirit let there be liberty now liberty now in the name of jesus madam be free i take it out of your life now 
the hand of God is upon you in the name of Jesus Christ receive the Lord is touching you I'm seeing God's taking something out of someone's stomach here it's going now now I release it now be free now be free now be free now in the name of Jesus be free now I'm seeing fire rising from this row just from I don't know who it is but fire is coming on someone from this row right now in the name of Jesus I decree and declare Keep praying. Keep praying. Keep praying. Something is leaving you. I'm standing here. There is the power of the Holy Spirit is setting someone free here within this place right now in the name of Jesus Christ. 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 In the name of Jesus. Help that woman, please. She's holding a baby. In the name of Jesus Christ, I stretch my hands here. Everything that must leave anyone, I declare it must go now by the power of the Holy Ghost. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Please, all of you here, just lift your hands. Right now, I stretch my hands. Now, something is coming on people right here. Be free now. 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 Now, keep praying, lift your voice. Overflow one, keep praying. Something is about to change in your life now. Please, you don't have to touch me. And I want you to help everybody close to you. As I pass, the anointing of the Spirit is touching everything that needs to leave. Thank you, Jesus. Be free now. 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 That anointing is touching you right now. Be free. Be free. Be free. Be free. I take it out of you right now. The fire of the Holy Spirit. Right here where I'm standing. Right here where I'm standing. The Lord is taking something out of your life. Be free. I'm standing here and the Lord is saying it is over. He's speaking to someone, it is over. An anointing is coming on you now. It is over. 
Over, 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 Shalakata. over. Madam, be free now. The power of God is touching someone here. In the name of Jesus, be free. In the name of Jesus, be free. Be free, be free, be free. Be free. Please help them, help your neighbor so they don't enjoy themselves. Be free now. In the name of Jesus, I declare and declare. Be free, be free, be free. Every devil of darkness. Be free now. Please open your heart and receive. Stretch my hands here. Anything that is held, be free now. Be free now. Be free now. Be free now. I'm seeing a chain. A chain around here. I don't know who that person is, but I lose you now. As I stand here, I lose you now. By the spirit of the living God. I lose you now. I lose you now. Hallelujah. Overflow one. I don't know if I'm able to walk around. It's working now. Please believe. It's a few minutes. God is touching you. You came here so that he will visit you. It's impossible to not testify. Now, please look at me, Overflow 2. I'm not going to pass in your midst. I will walk right here. And as I walk, the power of the Holy Spirit will begin to touch you. Thank you, Jesus. Be free now. Be free now. By the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Now, now, now. Be free. I take away every reproach. I take away every reproach. You can't stand it. No, it's impossible. It's impossible. We're talking of the anointing here. Every reproach, go now. Every reproach, go now. Every reproach, go now. I stretch my hands here. Go now. Go now. Every reproach. Every reproach, go now. Go now. I release your destiny. All of you standing here, I'm passing now. The power of God is coming on you. Be free. Praise the Lord. Okay. Um, I'm going to walk around. I may not go row by row. Please, let your heart be open. Please. Except God is not God. Whatever it is that has held you, as I pass by the Spirit, the power of God comes on you. Some of you will be receiving impartation. It's not everybody that is going to just be free from whatever it is. Father, in the name of Jesus, honor your word right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Right now, be free. I may not be able to move, but please lift your hands. All of you. At the count of three, overflow three, let me hear you shout the name Jesus. The moment you shout that name, I'm seeing like, I'm seeing like fire coming out of people. This is something living people. Are you ready now? One, two, three. Be free now. 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 From the front to the be free now in the name of Jesus. I release your destiny now. I release your destiny now. Madam, look at me. I set her free now. Release her destiny right now. That woman you are holding. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Listen, I declare to you. I, I release speed inside. I want to pray that prayer now. I don't know what has slowed you down. Overflow three. From the front to the back. May the grace for speed come on you now. May the grace for speed come on you now. Please, whether you are an usher or not. Whether you are an usher or not, help anybody under the anointing close to you. In the name of Jesus, I don't know what has held your destiny bound.
but in the name of Jesus one more time I want you to shout the name Jesus at the count of three one two three be free now be free now you came for a miracle service hallelujah hallelujah please look at me overflow three look at me hallelujah the lord is showing me a family i will soon walk out but i just want you to know you are part of and that it doesn't matter whether you are inside or outside the lord is showing me a family here there is a plague of sickness everybody from father to the last child there is nobody who is fine right now as i'm speaking the power of god is coming upon that family right now in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ overflow three i'm seeing the number 21 this is the healing anointing coming on 21 people right now in the name of jesus i stretch my hands this is not a healing miracle this is the anointing to heal right now from the front to the back upon gentlemen and upon ladies receive that grace receive that grace now receive that grace now receive that grace now please everyone overflow one two three main auditorium please open your mouth and begin to pray in the spirit and declare that everything the lord is doing must find expression in your life lift your voice and pray
Please lift your voice and pray. Please lift your voice and pray. 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 God is changing something in someone's body. A blood disease. Just right where I'm standing. A blood disease is living right now. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. You see, let me tell you, when, when we do these things, we are not wasting time at all. You need to see what the Lord um, did in some of those overflows. There are people who have real issues. And sometimes, Madam, please lift your hands. I'd like you to shout Jesus as loud as you can. Let the name of the Lord be praised. The spirit of prayer. When I was in overflow three, I saw that grace. Would do an impartation, but it's in this season. There is a spirit of prayer and supplication that is coming upon the body of Christ, especially in Zaria. There is a spirit and there is a grace for prayer. In the name of Jesus. Take that grace now. There is a grace and there is a spirit of prayer that is coming upon the body of Christ. You don't pray just by self-will. There is an agency. I declare now in this main auditorium, overflow one, overflow two, overflow three, I stand by the spirit and I declare receive a baptism of this spirit. Flames upon your prayer life. Flames upon your prayer life. Flames upon your prayer life. I declare capacity in your spirit man. Capacity. I swing open the door for utterance in prayer. Grace to pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Someone in the media stand is receiving a baptism of the spirit of prayer a fresh grace a baptism of prayer hallelujah you see let me tell you this please listen one of the systems for enforcing dominion on earth is the ability to legislate in the place of prayer and when the saints cannot pray and pray with understanding then nothing will change within their territory an attack on your prayer life is a real attack on your spiritual life nobody prays out of convenience there is a grace that must come upon a man to pray hallelujah if you are in ministry i pray again for the grace for prayer let me tell you if you are a man of god and you are not a man of prayer you are not in ministry believe me you are not in ministry it's only a matter of time you will know you are not in ministry i decree and declare a supply of the spirit an ability from heaven upon men and women of god that anyone who has the call of god upon his life whether you know it or not the grace to pray take it now 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 the grace to travail not give me tea and bread not give me tea and bread to pray destiny altering prayers Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We'll quickly minister to the sick now. Um, please listen. For those of you who are coming for the first time, we usually 
take prayer requests that I pray for now. And if you have not written your prayer request, please do so. You can get a notebook or just beckon on someone by your left and right to just give you an opportunity to write. While we are doing that, please, um, I will minister to those overflow one. Okay, the main auditorium and overflow two. Please listen. Main auditorium and overflow two. Um, when I ask you to come, you will come and stand in front here. You will be ministered to right here. Overflow one, you will stand in front of your projector stand. That away from the canopy to allow for space. Now, um, will I call it overflow 2B now? The overflow that extends to second equa. Someone will come there to minister. All those who are trusting God for healings, protocol ushers, please just coordinate them. You will stand in front there and then overflow three. Um, okay, there's another overflow down towards overflow three. Um, they will join the ones at they will join the ones at um, the second equa area. So let that be a single overflow too. And then finally, overflow three. You can walk to the front of your projector stand. All of you who desire to be prayed for. We believe in the healing power of Jesus. I believe in miracles. And our time is gone. You'll be ministered to very fast. And then we'll tidy up other things. Whilst that is going on, please, we're trying to conserve time. You see that a, a standard miracle service has to really be a vigil. If you want to do a thorough walk, you're not going to be able to do a thorough walk within two or three hours. But we're trying to just do the best we can do with the time that we have. While you are coming out, please, ushers, PR, join them or any other department um, to collect the, the prayer request. Those online, you can connect by faith if you're trusting God for healing and you can submit your prayer request and then it will be prayed for here. Praise the Lord. I believe in miracles. If you have written your prayer request, um, the ushers or you'll find a few people who will lift up their hands or lift up baskets and you'll be allowed to put it there. Now, very quickly, those trusting God to be ministered to um, for any kind of healing, make your way out quickly. Just like I've designated, please quickly, you come, stand here by faith. Overflow one in front of your projector stand. Overflow three in front of your projector stand. Overflow two you can join um, those in the main auditorium here. I hope I'm doing the right thing. And then overflow 2B and 2C, let me call it now. 2B extending to second equa and 2C extending to the gate of the third overflow. All of you together will form one overflow and then we'll minister very, very fast. Very, very fast so that we can finish. While you are doing that, please... Please let me advise, especially for those outside, as you are walking out, make sure your phones, your bags, and any of your belonging is safe. And then help those under the anointing. God is delivering people, setting people free. And let's just let him be God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Accept the people ministering to you, ask you questions. Don't worry. Just a touch and then you'll be back to your seat. And check yourself whether you're on a wheelchair or on a crutch or sitting whatever the situation is whilst they touch and they minister just expect a miracle hallelujah father we give you praise in the name of jesus within the time we have we pray that your healing power will flow let the sick be healed transform our lives visit us in a new way glorify jesus in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Let incurable situations live. And I pray, God, that you give your people testimonies. In the name of Jesus Christ. In Nigeria.
taking away the pain. You make my life so beautiful. My beautiful, you are taking away the shame, taking away the pain, and you make me just like you. My beautiful, my beautiful. Taking away the pain. Taking away the pain. Make my life so beautiful. Make my life so beautiful. My beautiful. My beautiful. You have taken away. Taking away the pain. Taking away the pain. Make my life just like you. Make it just like you. My beautiful. My beautiful. You have taken away. Taking away the pain. These are the guys that came from um, where? You came from Thailand. This gentleman is a professional footballer. Where's your colleague? Where are you? Come. We salute your coming. Both of them are professional footballers. What happened to your legs? Our last league match last year, so I got a fracture from it. And from there, it's affected your career. You're a footballer too. You came all the way from Thailand. You believe Jesus will heal you? These are your, you see, you cannot, I don't even know what this, this does. I asked to stop because they are, we're having some interesting cases today. Please shift. God is doing a serious miracle for this lady. Said she had, is it ovarian cancer? Ovarian what? Something like that. Mama? Oh dear. Look what God is doing. She will be healed, eh? Amen. Mm. Because when I looked at her, I did not see a pregnancy. I saw something that looked like a mass of something. This is demonic. Huh? Where are you from, madam? Where did you come from? From I'm from Kano. From Kano? Yes. Jesus, look what is happening. Let her be healed now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Mama, don't cry. Cancer, I speak to you. You have a name, you have a voice. Release this lady now. In the name of Jesus. My friend, look at me. You came all the way from Thailand. In the name of Jesus Christ, who is the Son of the living God. This fractured leg, I fix it back now. You see what is happening to you? What do you feel happening to you? Huh? Look at me. Go, run. Don't mind them just focus on me if you're having pain we're not acting here huh? so if you're having any a miracle has happened to you when i held your leg i felt the power of god moving through you you see this thing you see is a very demonic thing it's not about fracture do you understand number one come my friend you're together too i want to pray for you you see god is looking for people to represent him in every sphere huh? just because you're footballers doesn't mean that you ignore God. Many footballers don't love Jesus. They love football and they love the money that comes with it. But we're not only here. God has perfected this. Let me pray on the x-ray, please. Father, in the name of Jesus, let this miracle remain forever. Amen. I want to pray for both of you. I'll, I'll see you after the service and just say hi since you came just to honor you. But listen to me. I'm sure I don't know you. I've never seen you. Can I prophesy on your career? In the name of Jesus, 
the son of the living God. From today, let the anointing of the Holy Ghost. You are a footballer, but you play by the anointing, my friend. It takes more than just kicking a ball. I release the grace to excel. And for you, I release the grace to excel. Right now, two of you will return back to Thailand and the Lord will honor you. In Jesus' name, God bless you. Thank you so much for your patience. We're about to pray on the requests. I believe in the power of the Holy Spirit. And I truly believe that as we pray on these requests, that every situation that has defied God, it must answer to the name of the Lord. Let her go now. I curse you by the God of heaven. Out now! Who else? Praise the Lord. Please let's rise. Thank you for your patience. It's a miracle service. If you are yet to submit your request, please go ahead. Please go ahead. Hallelujah. We have gotten all kinds of humbling testimonies from this revelation. This is, this is a revelation that God gave as a communication of his love and the depth of his desire to see people touched. Not everybody can be prophesied to, not everybody may be personally ministered to. But this is a representation of your pain is a representation of your expectation and please i want you to believe release your faith you may not have come out requiring healing and with all the ministrations you may not have been directly ministered to i want you to believe because this is representing you before god i want you to stretch your hands here and pray passionately Pray passionately. You're not done. That Lord, this that I'm bringing before you, this will be the last. I truly believe. Make sure we collect for those outside. If you are still being ministered to, no problem. You can just focus while. You are receiving hallelujah praise the lord praise the lord i'm seeing fire burn on this thing i wanted to go down my knees but i just saw fire burning and the lord said i should declare and speak over it I'll declare and speak over it um there is one gentleman and one lady one gentleman one lady the power of God is coming on two of them. The moment that happens, then I have the release to speak on this. These are signs and wonders, my precious people. Sometimes God does these things and we have no idea why he does them. A gentleman and a lady. This is the sign that God gave me. Now I'm ready to pray. In the name of Jesus, believe with me. I stand upon this request now and I declare by the power of the Holy Spirit, every request laid before God here I decree and declare it lives your life forever please believe please believe we are believers in the mighty name of Jesus Christ hear me the Bible says these Egyptians you see today he said you will see them no more forever therefore I declare that everything that defied the name of the Lord represented here, I declare it is buried now and forever. Every impossible situation written here, situations that men do not have the ability to produce or provide, I call on the God of heaven, the creator of the ends of the earth. In the name of Jesus, let there be supernatural miracles. Supernatural miracles.
let there be supernatural miracle that time we had not started this a woman who had been barren for eight years wrote a request then we had not started this i'm not sure i, I think koinonia just started and when it was brought to me one of our precious ladies she used to be in the media and i held and i just heard that it was done in the spirit and i said that was it and the woman had three plates one two three now that's not the miracle the miracle is that none of the child had any kind of issue whatsoever three of them are alive today I have seen them they are strong they are fine the Bible says that everybody who ministers should minister according to the measure of grace when you attempt something higher than your level of anointing except God instructs you it is pride we understand our spiritual jurisdictions there are things that you have there are things you may not have now in experience I want to pray for you there is most of the requests here it is favor that will produce it listen listen many requests that we are writing whether it's a whole notebook you could as well get a clean sheet of paper and just write one word favor and that would be it it would still be worth it they are just different versions of expressing your need for favor I want to pray that grace there is a real grace for favor in the name of Jesus Christ favor listen favor is not having money favor is access to the hearts of men it's more than money you can have money and not be favored the proof of favor is not just money the proof of favor is the loyalty of men in the name that is above all names I decree and declare let the grace for favor rest upon you now let it bring about the accomplishment of this request in the mighty name of Jesus There are requests written here it is mercy that will answer it the bible says even the lawful captive shall be delivered i declare mercy upon this request in the name of jesus christ father i stand representing the desires the pain of your people you have done it again and again and we will never take you for granted lord let it please you that everyone who has submitted a request may they have the opportunity to stand upon this altar to testify in the name of jesus christ the spirit that brought the need for these requests i banish them from your life in the name of jesus in the mighty name of Jesus Christ may it please the Lord that testimonies will come out of this now please lift your hands we're closing let me speak over your life it is always my honor to do this because I have seen the creative power of the Word of God I've seen its ability to turn to change to transform lives there was a very humbling testimony something a gentleman this is something that happened like last week I thought he would come and share maybe he would come down to Zaria and testify himself that's why I didn't say it he walks in somewhere like a factory or something and he's given the key to the warehouse now, I don't know what kind of carelessness happened, whether his friends or whatever. This gentleman just misplaced.
the key and these are very serious security keys it's not like something you just carry a stone and hit and buy another one and it became a serious issue for him and they threatened to call the police they threatened to do a lot of things and i was about to sleep when i got his text he had been calling and i said please send the text and he sent it and i looked at it and he said i'm about to lose my job my wife my children this and that and suddenly the anointing of the spirit came upon me on my bed i laid hands and i sent him a text i said find that key that's all i wrote god is my witness i will not stand here at this level and corner stories this gentleman said he just was listening to a koinonia message and he slept i'm telling you the truth under god and he saw me in a dream this is what he said i was not there he saw me giving him the key in a dream he woke up in the morning listen listen that's not a miracle he woke up in the morning opened his drawer and the key was there <laughs> truly speaking you see let me tell you this if you are struggling to believe this you are not a christian because the very foundation of christianity was a strange miracle that a spirit leaves his body and returns back at will please let's not limit god i say these things to challenge us these versions of unbelief we continue to endorse is not going to make our lives fruitful you have nothing to lose to stretch your faith all the way don't they limited god in the wilderness by saying can god make a way hallelujah what is strange about an angel of the lord coming to drop a key somewhere didn't you hear the testimony of the gentleman who a stranger called him and gave him a number he shared here you remember gave him a number he calls a general in the army and they say who gave you my number and he doesn't know who gave him his number bottom line he gets a job as a result look let me tell you there is nothing god cannot do i'm praying for you the dimension of testimonies that will it will shock you the testifier first receive it now receive that strange order of testimonies In the name of Jesus Christ. A gentleman here, one of the years, checked his name on admission list and clearly saw that he didn't get anything. He frowned his way to his father who said, you are a foolish son, I'm not surprised. And he came, I don't know if it was miracle service or one of the prayers, returns back to the board and checks and there's his name admission list see let me tell you this let me tell you this you you are liberty to not believe but don't say it's a lie just say i don't believe based on my work with god and based on what i have not seen but don't say it's a lie he told nathaniel you will see greater things than this jesus said it are we together strangers that must arise and step in over your issue in the name of jesus i connect you to them i connect you to them i connect you to them by the power of the holy spirit there are times you have the gift but you do not have access to the ears of the kings you will need those who are already in the palace otherwise joseph you will remain in the prison I pray for you whoever has access to the ears of your helper may God compel them to speak about you in the name of Jesus Christ I pray for everyone trusting God for a job in the name that is above all names please believe and by the power that is in the name of Jesus I declare that between now and August, by the grace and the name of the Lord, return with a miracle job.
Hallelujah. I pray for those in ministry. The fire that must come on a man. John Wesley says, set yourself on fire and the world will come to watch you burn. I decree and declare, may that fire come upon your life. Every dying business in this place, hear the word of the Lord. I speak to you, come back to life now. And to live to deliver those appointed to death. There are people appointed to death. I heard a man of God give a story of a gentleman who missed a flight. He missed a flight and the plane crashed. And everybody was happy he missed the flight. They didn't know he followed a train that crashed. Are we together? You miss a flight and you are saying, Lord, I give you praise. You enter a train and you die. These are people appointed to death. In the name of Jesus. Death is a spirit. It has a voice it can hear. I forbid the earth from receiving your body. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every family under financial captivity. Every family here. And every individual sincerely trusting God to come through for you financially. I pray for you. May the month of June be your month. Please believe me. May the month of June be your month. Let the hand of God, let the grace of God rest upon you. God causing all grace to abound towards you. May you have sufficiency. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every project you have in front of you, whether it is a building project, whether it's a spiritual growth project, whether it's a ministry expansion project, whether it's a business project, it says the hand of Zerubbabel that began this work, that same hand will complete it. I pray. In the name of Jesus, whatever project you have, the grace to execute it, let it be given to you now. I don't know what has destroyed your appetite for the word of God. You will open your Bible and look at it like this, like a storybook. You can read a book of 600 pages in one week, but you can hardly finish one page of the Bible is an attack I decree and declare let the spirit of revelation and a passion for the word of God may it rest upon you may it rest upon you in the name of Jesus Christ two more prayer points and we're done hearing is our father glorified that ye bear much fruit the grace for results is called the power of performance receive that grace now i speak to you produce results produce results repeated results predictable results in every area of your life be fruitful in the name of jesus christ Finally, let me pray for you. Everything that is alive grows. When you give birth to a child and he cannot walk after three years, no teeth, he can't talk, you know that something is wrong with that child. Are we true? Your destiny is like a child. If it is alive, then it should grow. When a tree grows and begins to mature, it begins to branch are we together now and then it starts to invite the birds it also invites men to come and partake of the fruit i don't know what has taunted your growth in life and in destiny but as we cap up this month's miracle service especially your spiritual life some of you you've not backslidden but sincerely you've been at the same level it's not like you've gone down as it were but you've just rotated around the same experience. I declare rise to a new level. Rise to a new level. 
rise to a new level thank you Jesus thank you Jesus let me encourage you listen make sure to pay attention to the testimonies that God gives you and be sure to make it a duty to testify let it not be a burden to you are not testimonies don't just endorse that a man of God is anointed testimonies are proof to men to creation to all and sundry that God is love and that he is still mighty testimonies are a tool that consolidates the convictions of men and creates the same in others it's important to not withhold testimony someone's faith is depending on the miracle that comes from releasing your faith so be sure that as God touches you you may not have the luxury of coming down to Zaria for those of you who are far but we're on various social media platforms you can always make your testimonies known and then you can contact our helplines and then someone will be there to document your testimony and it will edify the people of God praise the Lord still standing everyone our time is gone I want to make an altar call I believe in salvation listen it matters that in a crowd of people like this and many more connected around the world it matters that we give people an opportunity to encounter Jesus let's settle down please let me have your attention lend me your attention for a minute or two you are here in the main auditorium overflow one overflow two and all the auxiliary overflows overflow three and online and you know that you are yet to truly surrender your all to Jesus and receive of his life or there are others who are saying apostle I have given my life to Jesus but I need to rededicate my life to start a work with him that is truthful and serious wherever you are and whatever category you belong to our time is gone just one minute for this aside from overflow three because of time i will request overflow one overflow two wherever you are making this altar call and those in quickly leave your seat very boldly and i like for you to come and stand right here let it be my honor and my joy to lead you to jesus i don't expect you to still be thinking about it the Holy Spirit should already be convicting you. Do not wait for anyone to come. Be the first. Let me for time's sake count one to five. One. Quickly, please, if you're coming, hurry up. Win that war. Do not say we came in group and I do not want anybody to know that I'm handing over my life to Jesus. Receiving the life of God is not a funeral service is something that is worth celebrating koinonia are you appreciating them keep coming come to jesus young and old come to him the bible says all who will come to him he will in no wise cast away i don't believe this is all overflow one overflow two join them very quickly and the lord added daily to the church as many as should be saved hallelujah praise the lord make sure that overflow three has uh, the people out god bless you i salute your courage please lift your right hand as i lead you to make this prayer you are not just reciting a poem this is a real um conversation between you and the lord you are receiving his life and you are handing over yours say after me lord jesus say it from the depth of your heart lord jesus some of you come for altar call when we are saying in jesus name you are not born again you should come the 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 prayer you don't stroll around and then round up you don't round up the prayer of salvation you participate with your heart man believes are we together okay lord jesus i believe hello scriptures exhort us from the book of proverbs it says my son attend to my sins incline thy ears to my words let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee as you have listened to this message we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof 
if you attend to these words as well that you will keep these words in the midst of your heart that no matter the circumstance your eyes are going to be fixed on these words and as you have been blessed we will tell you to share this message be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed and then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos we have loads of content that is going to make you blessed that is going to set you on course that is going to set you ablaze and don't forget to like for us thank you